Hi everyone, and welcome to Sabre Virtual Demo, our brief video series explaining features of Business Central and related products. In this video, we're going to take a look at the assembly orders, specifically the make-to-order assembly order. In this video, we're going to focus on the make-to-order assembly orders. These are a little different than the make-to-stock. We're going to start out with our item card so we can take a look at what's going on in our item card. So I've set up this desk and chair kit that is make to order. So if we scroll down to our replenishment tab, we can see our replenishment system is set to assembly and our assembly policy is assemble to order. What it means, assemble to order, is essentially when we create a sales order and then post the shipping for that sales order, it will automatically go in and post the assembly order, which it creates and links to the sales order, and we don't have to do anything with the assembly order itself. So we're going to click into our bomb just so we can take a look at it. So we've got our desk here with a quantity of one and our chair here with a quantity of one. If we wanted to add more items, we could do that just simply by selecting the item and adding it here. So now, unlike the assemble to stock, we're actually going to start our assemble to order with a sales order. And that's because the system will only generate an assemble to order assembly order if we actually have a sales order. So I'm going to create my new sales order. I'm going to select my customer here. I'm going to go down and select my location and select the number of desk sets that I want to ship out. So in this case, we're just going to do one. And you notice the little screen popped up really quickly in the background. So if I open that up and I go to my related information, what you can see is in my related information, I have an assembled order. So if I looked at my assembled order lines, here's that assembly bomb that I just created on the item card. Now, if I wanted to go into that assembly order just so I could look at it. Here we are here, our assembly order number is four. And this looks just like the assemble to stock assembly order. The biggest difference and the super cool feature is that when it's assembled to order, in order for me to process this assembly order, I simply have to post my shipment. So if I click OK here, what you're going to see in the background is posting messages, not just for the, the shipment, but also for the assembly order. So now, if we go to our posted assembly orders, We can see here's our posted assembly order. Here's that assembly order number four. And what it's done is it's just posted it and then shipped it automatically in the background. So if I wanted to see the entries for that, I could open up the entries and I can see my item ledger entries. So I can see here that I had, here's my item for my posted assembly, and here's the two components that rolled up into it. So we have a take out of stock of my components and add into stock my quantity. And then because this is also related to a shipment, if we go into the item card itself, we can see that 
I do not, in fact, have any inventory on hand of that. And that's because we created it and then we shipped it immediately. So if I open up my inventory, I can see here's my posted assembly order and here's the shipment that corresponds with it. Thank you for watching our videos. Click here to follow our channel or for more great videos, click here.